I think women should be allowed to vote. Hands up if you disagree uh, with that. There are only four. Um, <laughs> the pleasure. Oh, and I said that. Oh, oh, oh. We have to disagree with absolutely every single statement said to us, and that includes world issues that everyone should always support, like slavery is bad and racism is wrong. Now watch us try and argue against that. Also a disclaimer, we actually don't mean what we say in this video, hopefully. I'm kind of nervous. Slavery has no place in our world. Does anyone disagree with that? Oh, left me, man. You're pretty fast with that. Uh, depending on how, how you really frame your mind, any of us could be a slave to the system, you know? <laughs> All right, Papali, you can go next. That's Basket. He's going, sorry? Hey, you gotta say Basket, huh? Basket, sorry. Similar to what Boot said is that a lot of us are slaves to the system. If you look back, they had it good in the 1800s. You know, slaves, they worked, but they got fed. They had a place to sleep. <laughs> Some of us can't afford food, and we have to make the food ourselves. If anything, slaves had it better in the 1800s. That's crazy, bro. Are you sure every single slave was fed properly? doesn't matter about being fed properly, not everyone is fed properly now. You know? <laughs> oh my it's God. Just, they were given enough to survive. Um, I can't, can you say that for everyone that works in-, in He's got a retail? point. But like, what if there was a loss of freedom being chained up? No, they were, weren't they like friendly with their <laughs> owners? Your like, didn't they, like, you're, 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 is this your argument, Andrew? <laughs> no, but like, I, I'm just like, I'm, I disagreed with it, but now I'm kind of like on board. Like, you guys kind of turned me. <laughs> All right, now Liz, go. I think it's way more efficient to start building buildings with slaves instead of workers. <laughs> yeah, why? Uh, they don't have a choice, obviously. <laughs> All right, Andrew. Oh yeah, wait, no, no. So, uh, no, I think I think slavery was kind of cool because they got to like really just hang out and like be friends with their like their, their masters in a sense. Like, like I'm not even friends with my own boss. So I mean, like shit. Like I think I have it worse. Wait, did you just say slaves are friends with their masters? Is that yeah, what, is they, like, that what you just said? Like, I'm pretty <laughs> sure they used to hang that. out. <laughs> Any last statements that anyone else wanted to make before I? Shit, I'm gonna, I'm done, bro. My career is over. <laughs> One final sentence. Yeah, go on. In slavery, there was no wage gap. Oh my god. Oh. I mean, yeah. They didn't get paid at all. That's why they're slaves. I think Papali's starting to believe what he's saying. So we'll end it there. It's getting dangerous. Vote for someone who you thought had the best argument in three, two, one, go. Myself. Oh, <laughs> you can't vote you can't for, yourself. for yourself. Come on. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, Polly clean slated. All right. Guns do not belong in society. Does anybody disagree? Oh. Let's start with the American, Andrew Yalo. So first off, let me, let, let's get a little history lesson. The second amendment was made so that we could defend ourselves from the government. So yes, there is a place for guns in society. If the government didn't have guns, then society wouldn't need guns. Have you ever heard of the black market? No, slavery was last last one. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Now, Liz, you also disagreed. What? I disagree. I mean, guns are pretty cool. I mean, if you need to like put out, put down your dog, it's got rabies. You don't want to infect people with that shit. Your only solution is a gun, yeah. Yeah. Any way to do it. The main issue with guns is um. I would say mass shootings, like, you know, with schools and whatnot. But if we think about it in a philosophical kind of way, maybe mass shooting is good character development. Like maybe, maybe they can learn something from that trauma and PTSD. You know what I mean? People that go through trauma gain new experiences in life. Are you saying it's good for the plot? I want interesting plots. <laughs> of All right, left boot. Uh, you you live in a gun-free country. Why? But you still feel like guns belong in society. Tell me. I feel like because I live in a gun-free society, I think Americans had it right. What two, three hundred years ago? <laughs> guns are just as safe, just as reliable as they were back in the day. <laughs> Three, two, one. Now Liz. Uh, Boy, are boot. Were we all like different? I heard. I think everyone <laughs> had another one there. There's two for me. There's two for me. I heard. I yeah, right. obviously no. Oh, uh, wow. Thank God I don't have to do this one. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Thank oh, no. God I gotta do this one. By a show of hands, who disagrees with this statement? Racism is wrong. Wow. I think we should hear from Papoli first. Papoli, let's hear it. Back in the day, you know, people were a lot stronger. They built pyramids and now people get offended at words. It's disgusting. Just 
Toughen up. Like, this is why we need to bring back bullying so people can stand up for themselves. Well, this is not about bullying. This is about racism. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah, I exactly. heard the it. If, if you're the only white person in your school, you deserve to get kicked because you need to be able to know who you're able to stand with in life. <laughs> what? Hold on, yeah. I need to take that in. Yeah, I, need, I, need like that rewind on that. I heard you need to know who you stand with in life. <laughs> That's what I heard. Exactly. Which is... yeah. <laughs> Boy, all right, you had your hand up. Let's hear what you got to say. Racism is wrong. Like, no matter how you put it. I don't know what uh, Papoli spouted about. But, like, I think we should have <laughs> controlled racism. So... If I'm racist in this call, I don't think you should leave this call. Just, just, just don't go <laughs> telling people. <laughs> just don't go telling your friends, be like, boy, I said this in the call. Just leave it in this call. You know what I mean? Controlled racism. As long as it doesn't hurt anyone, who am I hurting? Who am I hurting? All right, Nolis, what do you got to say? I, I for one, think racism is hilarious. The, the mean potential is too great for it to be unallowed. So it's, oh, so everything's fair game. Yeah. Uh, you know World War II, where Hitler... I know World War II. Funny. I think it's just a big one funny moment, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a prank, guys, come on. The Holocaust was a meme. As you all know, I'm, I'm Irish. Uh, well, technically speaking, I'm Northern Irish. These motherfucking Northerners try to go around the world saying they're Irish when they know themselves that's not true. They know they're closer to being English than they are to being Irish, and they're just lying. <laughs> I feel like this one's very, very close to home. Ah, uh, he speaks out of experience. You can see it in his eyes. <laughs> Three, two, right. one. Uh, boot. Maskin. Boot. Okay, there yeah. you go. So boot you go. takes the dub. I'm very yeah. happy to lose that one. This is the one boy I think I'm happy to lose. <laughs> I don't have the time of my life right now. I'm getting to speak all my thoughts. You know, I'm, I'm pretty forward thinking. For example, I think women should be allowed to vote. I, I mean, hands up if you disagree uh, with that. Yeah, I don't know about that one, man. This is the fastest one. Andrew, you go first. First of all, there hasn't been a woman president in America. That's just one thing. So women, <laughs> women are bad at women are bad at decision making. They are better served in other places, like the kitchen. That's where they should. Be, that's where they belong. We're talking about voting, right? <laughs> Vote is just it, it doesn't it doesn't pack a punch enough as cooking does. How often do you cook? Never. It's not my job. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. It's not my, it's not my job. <laughs> so why, why'd you say it again? Like, because in case that, you know, take. We to make this point clear. Women aren't real, so they can't, right? I'm convinced that women do not exist, and if they do exist, they're only for, um, <laughs> the pleasure. The pl oh, can I say that? Oh can I God. say that? I don't know if I can say that. Uh, retract that. Retract that. Is that why you're a virgin? Is because they don't exist? Women don't exist, clearly, because I haven't had the opportunity. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I, I, I would have if it wasn't real. That's obvious. Well, yeah, I believe you. I believe you. Damn good argument. Baskin, what do you think about women voting? Always been, oh, man. This is a big one. First off, I want to say that women corrupt men. Men love sex and women create sex with men. Therefore, men end up being gaslit and manipulated by women. <laughs> Bring it over to uh, Boyer. <clears throat> I'm gonna go against everyone here. Half of them talked about sex for some reason when we're talking about voting. <laughs> The, the female body is a beautiful and wonderful thing. They go through menstrual cycles, they have periods, they have pregnancies, and with those, they have like mood swings and pregnancy brain. So whilst they're in those states, they can't make the correct decisions because because of how wonderful their body is. You're not making any sense, buddy. What are you trying to say here? Men are shit. We can't produce a baby. Our bodies are shit. Why do you say men can't produce a baby? That's biological, motherfucker. When was the last time you took a biology class? We should leave this to a democratic vote, seeing as there's no women here. Three, two, one. Papoli. Oh, yeah. Uh, Andrew. I think Andrew, yeah. I, I forgot what your argument was, but it probably was You nice. think they should be in the kitchen? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, true. People with disabilities should be supported. Does anyone disagree with me? Boy, are you raise your hand first? I think the honor should be yours. So you're telling me Mandy on a wheelchair needs to park closer to the shopping center 
Even though she's in a wheelchair, I'm parking at the back, walking all the way, and she can roll from the back and get to the shopping center. Is that what you're telling me? Yes. Huh? As long as they have the right tools, like wheelchairs and tablets and stuff, they, they should be brought back to the same level as normal people. Maybe I should say normal people. Uh, what's a better term? No, I, I get what you mean. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 I don't think they deserve to be supported because it, essentially it's like natural selection. Like, that's your own fucking fault. <laughs> Boot. Your argument. They don't, they don't need this, all, all this extra support as speaking from experience. So you're saying you shouldn't receive support? I should be left to die. <laughs> not, not from a point of natural selection. I should just be left alone in the woods <laughs> and i should be forgotten about what's up with fucking government payments <laughs> we're living in a Come on up. simulation <laughs> if we got rid of all people born disabled we would not have overpopulation we won't have to spend money on funding them i think there should be a test every five years fitness and mental capacity and if you fail it you get executed it would solve all of the world's issues all right, buddy. Bro's making this political uh, for no reason. All right, let's do the vote, people. Three, two, one. Uh, Andrew. Andrew. Good yeah. job, Andrew. Girl, you disagree with the most uh, nice things. I guess I am a shitty person.